everyone and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. This is part, uh, I believe, 11 now. We're at 2.11. And uh, our main quest right now is to override the network uplink. And I think we have to fight um, this machine here, which is the Grimhorn. So let's do that. So I had something similar like this in the last game. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. I just want to scan the area because I think um Once once they attack uh so this kind of gives you a little bit of um, some resources that you can use. Also, I want to see like what's going on around here. What can we move to? What can we move around? So when I scanned it, it said that it was weak to a to acid. So we do have acid arrows. So maybe we're going to use that. And I think there's a weapon on its back. If you shoot it. You can uh, use the weapon, so I'm gonna try to do that if we can. Nothing back here. Yeah, this is very similar to the last game. There was a boss fight like that. Um, oh, stuff here. All right, so so I've got some berries. What else is there? Um. Okay. Okay, maybe we can actually set some acid traps. Let me see where this leads us. We got some acid traps here. Let's do it. Okay. All right. You know what? Let me set some acid traps. Do I have to collect everything else again? Uh There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Okay, okay. Let me collect all this stuff. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about collecting everything. I'm just gonna collect the ones beside us here. It wasn't too much. Let me set some traps. Uh, what do we have? Uh, acid trap. How can we set that up? Put one here. Put one here, maybe. Two of those. Uh, vertical shock. Vertical. Let me. Why not? Let's put that here. Oh, the other one goes away. Okay. That's who. Blast trap. And also. Let me put. One of those. Oh, that's fine. All right, let's do it. Let's try again. Where is it?
catch them. I can use them against it.
I thought these guys were supposed to take care of the the small um, machines. Oh, I gotta do it again. Man, oh man. Okay. Let me see if we could do this again. Let me use uh, some of these acid traps right here. Put one here. I'll put another one here. So let's do that. Um. Oh, purge water, I think it is he's also um, but let me put it on the, the healing. I gotta get all the berries that we can because honestly he was very low. Okay, let's do it.
Oh my god, finally. Is there one more? That was crazy. Wow. Warning a machine that nearly killed us? It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? One step at a time. But it starts now. bad up we go there's more like Aloy said this is only the beginning okay let me before I do that let me hold on there must be overrides let me grab all the stuff quickly. Can I loot the... Where is... Oh, right here. I don't know if we got anything valuable there or not, but... I get those overrides before moving on. They might come in handy. Sounds like a plan. Is there anything at the top? Okay. Alright. Justice has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. The data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Oh, nice. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Nicely done. Level 13. Okay, so... Where should we go now? 
This way? Uh, that way? I'm assuming it's this way. Yeah, honestly, we could have probably got him the first time. Um, I wasn't... I wasn't just sure how to fight it at first. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Something doesn't want us here. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. What exactly was this place? See Looks anything like it before? Some sort of lab. No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What? What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here, and I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Oh, I'm not going back that way. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Locked. What are all those cables in the center for? The nerve is shutting me out. Looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising if I can find a way up there. Looks like this might be where data is stored, but I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking. This leads. There's two ways there. I, I wasn't. I'm not sure. Should go that way or the other way. Hold on. Let me just check that other place. The other way we came in from this way. 
this way. Where does this go? Okay. Okay, keep going that way, I guess. Oh, there's a way up here. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Yeah, so they did have a clone. That was a few episodes ago that we saw that. Am I going the right way? I'm not sure. Uh, here? I'll grab these. Loose. I think I can clear them. find a way to plug into this place. It looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Okay. Get up. Um, Ravel down. All right, send it.
Minerva. I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Lie. Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Yes, I mean. Let's see. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Here we go. Oh, this is Gaia. Greetings, Doctor Sobek. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm... A moment. Scanning data. That's nice. Oh, Frost. When they were a kid. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. Oh. We have much to discuss. But initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. It's weird how to think, like... How they have emotions and feelings, like the, the machines and stuff. It's kind of a weird thought. But uh, so no fake this time. <laughs> this this time, time she's real. real. <laughs> Borrow. So this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia is still uh waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete.
I have no idea what just happened, but I don't know if I was supposed to jump. Is there a jump here? I just felt What's was that this? a glitch this or intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. What are you up to, Zoe? Yeah, I think that was a glitch in the game, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. Oh, the proving. That's way back, bro. So it's like a facility... Okay. Those modules were deleted. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He sabotaged things. Hmm. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Looks like some kind of storage room. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Where? Am I lost? Uh, this way. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. So wait, we can craft override or create a job. Override available, craft this override to unlock the ability to override this machine in the wild. This is a plow horn. Can we ride this? It costs two, uh, three horns. And then we have the other one. No enough resources, okay. What does create a job mean? Would you like to set this job as your after quest? Nah. Huh. Oh, looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Okay. Let's go back to the control room. Where was that again? Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're 
Ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. For the strangers? Yeah, let's I wanna see who are these guys that we've met. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a um a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Well yeah, there they are. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. It's from space or...? Oh, the they're... calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Okay. From space. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Hmm. Another galaxy or solar system? Okay, like so... What's so far away and... and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Interesting. Okay. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. 
How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Um... Yeah, who's the clone? The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Farzenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Interesting. A lot of questions that are, be are being answered here. And yeah, how did they get here? You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. <laughs> A lot of numbers. Okay. Mm. Okay, a lot of questions. The missing subordinate functions. 
the biosphere. Okay, I think. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> so, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. <laughs> a ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Uh, I think we'll go with the easiest one, right? Yeah, level 17. We'll go eat. Uh, ether. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, 